Hi, and welcome to our latest sprinkler talk video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the zone check addressable system. Uh, we've got here our demo stand, which has got a lot of our products in one small area. Um, if you can imagine that this is kind of our products are spread across an entire building. Uh, in the building management suite or in reception, you'd have your controller, which is managing all of your sprinkler system monitoring and testing. Um, you've got a printer, so you can have a printed record of every test you've ever done on your sprinkler system. Um, and then moving through the building, you've got your alarm valve and your main isolation valve. Um, now these are all being monitored by our bell shaped IMM. IMM stands for Intelligent Monitoring Module. Um, and that IMM is picking up signals from the zone valve. It's picking up signals from the pressure switch. And it's also providing power to the pump um, as part of our bell check system. Uh, moving out of the uh, alarm valve area, um, the, the sprinkler system will be split up into different sprinkler zones. So each zone will have its own zone check and its own isolation valve. Um, and we can pick up all of those signals from the zone valve, from the, the flow switch and by power to the pump, all from our zone check IMM. So the IMMs are wired as part of a loop. That loop goes back to the controller, um, so we're monitoring the whole system 24-7. The system uh, sits in system OK mode, uh, so that's, that's monitoring every pressure switch, every flow switch, every valve, making sure they're all in the right position. Uh, if something was to change, if someone was to go and close one of those zone valves, I can show you here. So I'm going to close this, uh, start closing this zone valve. And we can see here our controller has gone into fault mode. It's telling me there's a fault, it's telling me what's happened, and it's telling me where in the building that is. So it's giving you location information and it's given you detailed information about your system. So if anyone wants to close the valve for any reason, you're going to know about it and you're going to have a date and a timestamp log that can sit on an SD card within here um, and that can be downloaded to a, a PC um, or sent via a, a BMS connection to a, a SCADA system. Um, I can open this valve again so it's in the correct position. Then reset the alarm condition uh, entering my four digit pin and the system is checked again everything's in the right position it goes back into system OK mode uh, we can also do testing automatically from the controller so every day, every week or every month we can activate our zone check so it recirculates water around the flow switch the flow switch sends a signal via the IMM back to the controller to say that the test has been successful uh, but we can do that as part of a soft test. So we don't need to isolate any alarms, that's all done automatically. Um, we can also run a test uh, locally from the IMM. So there's a concealed push button within the, the IMM itself. By pushing that button, I've started the test. So the pump is recirculating the water, it's flowing around the flow switch, and now the flow switch paddle is being pushed. There'll be a delay timer within the flow switch itself, and when that's triggered, it will send a signal back to our controller to tell me that if there's been a successful test or not. Now I've got a, a printout here that gives me a pass result. It tells me the IMM serial number for that. It gives me a time and a date stamp, and it also tells me a flow switch activation time in seconds. So that one activated within 16 seconds, and that record can be kept for uh, an insurer, uh, for a fire officer, someone that wants to ask that you've been where you need to prove you've been doing testing. So you've got testing records for every test you've ever done. Okay, as well as running a, a zone check test remotely from our controller, we can also do that for the alarm valve test, for the bell check. Uh, we can also do that locally using the IMM. So I'm going to use the concealed test button on the bell check IMM. Um, what that will do is it will open up the solenoid valve and it will start the bell check pump running. That will recirculate water around the clack and it will cause the pressure underneath the clack to be greater than the pressure that's above it. The clack will lift, water will flow through the annular groove to the pressure switch and that sends our fire signal, or our test signal in this case, back to the controller. Um, the water flows through our, our zone valve which is open uh, and it will be activated by the concealed test button as shown. So 
So as you can see, we've got a pass on our screen. Uh, we've now got a digital record of that test. We've got a paper record of that test. Uh, and we've done all of that test with the push of a button. Uh, we've also done that without wasting any water. Um, traditionally, you'd be throwing away around 630 litres of water. Um, you're probably using about a cup full of water uh, to test it with the bell check. Okay, so that's given you a bit of a snapshot of the zone check adjustment system. We've got a head end controller managing the entire sprinkler system's testing and monitoring. That's for all the zone checks on the system, all the bell checks on the system. We can also pick up all the pump house signals, we can pick up trace heating IMMs, we can pick up our pre action heads, Gemini, Gemini heads. Uh, so, all these signals we're monitoring 24 7. It's all being tested, and you've got records to show to the building owner, to the insurer. Um, so you can prove you've been doing your testing and enabling compliance. Right, so check addressable. Okay, so we've looked at simulating um, a, a sprinkler test by uh, automating the testing by the controller. Um, we've looked at testing by the IMMs themselves. Uh, but what happens in a fire situation? Um, obviously, when you have a fire, you want to be able to, the system to be able to go into fire mode uh, and to transmit that signal to a conventional fire alarm panel um, or an ident panel. Uh, or a BMS system to evacuate your building. Um, so to simulate a fire here on the zone chip, we can take off the flow switch lid and we can pull the, uh, the flow switch lever uh, and that will simulate a fire in operation. Now I'm going to hold this down for 16 seconds because there's a delay on the flow switch. Uh, once that's been held down for a certain amount of time, uh, the flow switch will activate and set the system into fire. So you can see here on our controller, the controller's gone into fire mode, uh, which is this red icon here. Um, it tells us exactly where in the building that is, and it tells us um, which is the first flow switch to activate as well. Um, so any fire responders that are responding to this fire are able to see exactly where in the building that fire is. Um, now that fire signal can be passed on uh, to BMS systems, uh, conventional fire alarm panels, uh, our ident panel, um, there's lots of ways we can pass on those fire and fault signals. Okay, as well as zone check and bell check, we've also got our light tap range on display here today. Um, to start with, you can see our quick drain. So this is a 50ml quick drain with a 25ml outlet, allowing you to add a drainage point to your zone without draining down initially. Um, you can also add extra heads, um, so this is a 50mm connection by 25mm outlet. So this allows you to add uh, one head in that scenario, but we have um, no drain tees that go up to uh, providing an 80mm connection. Um, so it's a very easy way of adding heads, it's a very quick way, you're not wasting the water and the sprinkler heads are still in use, they're still providing protection while you're doing the work, uh, which often means you can do the work during the day, so it's a lot cheaper than paying for uh, night work and, and late night starts, that sort of thing. Um, as well as our no drain T, we've got a quick vent on top. Um, so this is for parts of the system. Sometimes you have air locks in systems or air bubbles that are difficult to get rid of. Uh, by simply adding a, a vent on top of the pipe, that means that the air can be vented out really easily uh, and you haven't had to, to tap in, you haven't had to drain down the system and tap into it. Um, our bell check product can also be retrofitted to pipe work using the live tap clamps and that goes the same for zone check as well. There's a zone check line which will allow you to connect to an existing flow, flow switch, retrofitting around it uh, and fitting a live tap connection that way. Um, thanks very much for watching the video. Um, please connect with us on LinkedIn uh, or through Twitter or on our website uh, and again thank you for watching.